is a factory reset for Samsung J7 Crown France TriTag Wireless. Uh, if you forgot your lock screen, like your password, pattern, or pin, uh, just find my video with the title Hard Reset Samsung J7 Crown. Okay, I'm gonna leave a link on the on this video description so you can just uh, go and click there and uh, follow the steps to remove your lock screen. Okay, if you, in case that you forgot them. All right, so this is a factor reset going from settings of the phone to delete all user data. So let's go to settings and you want to scroll and find general management, okay, which is uh, general management. Sorry, let's go back here and open general management and you have uh, reset. Let's go and select the reset and let's go and select factory data reset okay so you have three resets here but the, the one that you want to use to delete all your system memory like pictures videos contacts uh, web history text messages downloaded applications any any application downloaded and email addresses passwords everything is going to be removed from phone's memory and so you're going to use this factory data reset okay and before proceed is it is very very important that you know your google account because after the factory reset you will have to confirm or verify google in order to proceed and get to the main screen of the phone if you fail to confirm uh, google you won't be able to use your phone anymore so let's go go back here and make sure that you know your email address uh, which is um, um google settings or Okay, so on Google settings, let's open this and um, the backup right here. This is the email address that you have to uh, know the password of it, okay? Because um, here you're gonna see an email address on your phone. On this one, I don't have anything, so that's why it doesn't show anything. So uh, you need to know, if you, if you forgot the password, just go to any desktop computer and reset the password. And come back to general management and hit the reset button uh, factory data reset and then a small explanation and just hit the reset button we went through already and you have a lock screen just confirm your lock screen to proceed to the factory so once you uh, done with this you are actually ready to okay once you hit the delete all this is what their factory reset is going to start so you are ready and have everything that we went through just hit the delete all and the phone will power off and on right here okay so just uh, stop it's gonna take a few five or ten minutes uh, here in order to press to uh, take us to the initial setup screen okay so in case that your phone gets stuck on this Android package or Samsung logo longer than, than eight minutes, that means that something is gone. If that is your case, uh, just long press the power key uh, until the, the screen goes off and then um, um, use my video that, on the link on this uh, video description. With those steps, uh, you can actually do another factory reset with external keys volume up and power key okay um, because uh, if your phone gets stuck with these logos you won't be able to go back to phone settings and start over the factory reset so you have to do it with the external keys and the reason is that sometimes we fail to uh, restart the phone we just uh, delete a lot of web history or a lot of downloaded applications and we fail to restart or reboot the phone at least three times a month and that's when the motherboard of the phone it gets uh, ruined so uh, what we're going to do here is actually calibrate the motherboard to help that work better so and sometimes if you experience like a lot of drop calls or the phone just go off as me that sometimes is the motherboard problem and it's not because bad coverage or bad reception of strike tag wireless but just uh, uh, motherboard issues so just so you know and as a reference in case that uh, you had a phone in the future that has that issue you can do a fact, uh, hard reset with external keys 
but before doing that you need to know your Google information like I said and make sure to back up all your info data um, on your Google account and with the same email address you actually can uh, retrieve all your information on your new phone or on your phone that you did a factory reset on it so okay so here is I um, some other two minutes here right there is starting Android just stay with me there and I think we are almost or very close to get to the initial setup screen all right so this is the initial setup screen in case that you um, did a factory reset or just a brand new phone this is the screen what you wanna get and you want to know any other languages on this phone just hit the world key uh, icon and these are the languages that you can use on this phone okay so this is Samsung J7 crown and for now I'm gonna stay with English and once you have the language selected just hit the OK button and touch the arrow to continue and, and now you already have an active SIM card from Strike Talk Wireless or any of your carrier just go ahead and insert it on the phone or register a Wi-Fi so you can have data because you need data to con to confirm uh, to confirm or verify Google. So at this at this point, I'm gonna skip this anyways because I don't have any Google to confirm on this phone. So just hit the next button. And next step is agree terms and conditions from. Um, Strike what were straight talk wireless, and you have to confirm, uh, actually I agree because if not, they won't let you continue. So, all right, so here nickname for the phone in case that you lost your phone and somebody else find it. And after many attempts, they, they may um, guess your lock screen, meaning your password, pattern, or pin, and then they will be able to access to your phone, but after many attempts google will consider that your phone has been like lost or something and they're going to ask them to verify nickname of the phone so if they fail to confirm nickname um, they won't be able to ask to your phone and they won't be able to ask to your personal information so for your safety and protection uh, select choose a nickname for the phone but it is something that you always remember because um, you will never gonna use it unless you forget your lock screen okay so uh, select that and then when you're ready just hit the next button and next step is set up a lock screen for your phone with a password panel or pin uh, you can set up a face recognition but for now uh, I'm gonna say no thank you because uh, you can do this after when we get to the uh, main screen of the phone so for now I'm gonna skip on this uh, phone skip anyway and Google services I um, totally recommend you to leave everything on because the first one is when you go to Google search engine and anything that you search on Google the first result that you wanna get is the one on your phone's location so it's very very convenient with that uh, second one is is there any Wi-Fi available that you can take advantage of it and you can save save your data package that you are actually paying or on your carrier. So just leave that one on, and you can save data. Okay. Uh, third one is is there any updates for your Android? You're gonna receive a notification from Google, so you can actually download it and uh, keep your Android up to date. Okay. So leave that one on and just hit the I agree button to continue okay Samsung account if you already have one you can actually just sign in or create an account Samsung account also lets you back up all your information okay um, all your pictures videos any documents that you would like to save on Samsung account and also for your phone you can actually have an application to uh, Samsung Cloud and um, secure folder so if you lost your phone you can actually log into your Samsung account and actually you can see where your phone is located and also if you lost your phone or somebody stole it 
you can just go into the Samsung account immediately and lock your phone okay you can lock block your phone completely so they won't be able to access it and so you can protect your personal information so uh, please open a Samsung account or you already have one just sign in and uh, learn everything about Samsung okay um, all right so now you're gonna skip these steps since we, uh, I'm not gonna sign in or open a new account here check useful features and extend battery battery life secure your stuff like I said before same with you on Samsung account font size and screen so uh, you can set the font size here um, large and this is the sample and huge you can go to huge also so yeah this is very very convenient when you are ready just done and um, finish let's go and touch the finish button here and all that your phone is ready to use okay uh, this is how to set up uh, your Samsung phone J7 crown fan strike type wireless if you have any qu any other questions let me know in comments and please subscribe to my channel so you can ha have access to my other, other tutorials on any other smartphone and hit the like button please if this was uh, helpful information for you thank you